it's too early oh, it's just too early we stayed up so late last night using that specific part of the day destined for sleeping to cater to our curiosities of the mind mine was my youtube channel that has to be done during my extra hours until it generates an income measurable to my other businesses and my daughters was chatting with their friends in completely different time zones can't be mad at that some things just need to be done in the middle of the night nonetheless we're up early and a knock this early in the morning where you have not had much sleep is likely to set my day off on the wrong foot but the truth is my house needs cleaning and the knock came at the perfect time a weekly luxury i only get from being a guest in an airbnb that includes weekly cleaning services thanks to being in Medellin, mexico and of course to give her enough room to work we take off and go somewhere else and today is park day so we hopped in an uber and we headed to the park on the way there i noticed my daughter's gums looked inflamed kind of reminds me of a moment when we were traveling through texas and my oldest fate fell off her skateboard Yep, she had a giant gash on her arm and we had to go to the ER and yeah, I remember being worried about her but I also remember being so worried about that giant bill we were gonna get as an outcome As we we're sitting at the park while the kids are having fun I'm sitting across from Anne telling her my story and she just offered to make me an appointment via text that sounds great. So I'm glad the curls are done. And now we can go meet the doctor. Oh, she happened to be delightful. And she only charged me 800 pesos, which she proceeded to explain that was extra. But because she had to do a cleaning, an aesthetic, the main procedure, and a follow up cream from the US, it would have been so much more money. And to be honest, Taking my kid to the dentist as an emergency would have probably been something I would have thought twice about. So this is a luxury we may have put off if we were living in any other place as not Merida, Mexico. Any time to go home. I'm kind of exhausted. It's so hot and I'm feeling the lack of sleep. Wow, my courtyard is just so beautiful. And I have to tell you, this sun shining through the trees and the twinkling in the pool, I'm thinking that we should take a dip. And this was a perfect idea. What a way to cool off. And I get to chill on the hammock for a little bit and rest and relax. This is such a luxury that I would not experience if I was living in Madrid, Mexico. for a snack. I think I'm gonna have a dragon fruit. I bought this yesterday at the market for seven pesos. That is 33 cents, 50 cents, something like that. Back in the US, I always feel guilty buying healthy items for myself. And I have an autoimmune disease that kind of requires me eating a certain way. And it's has been so nice here that I actually get to buy whatever items I need for my health and I don't have to worry about the price tag. According to my Google search that I just did, this beautiful healthy fruit would have been $10 back at home. And not paying that is a luxury of being in Medina, Mexico. Alright, so my daughter just reminded me I have not connected her phone here and that we are out of milk. So I think I'm gonna hop on my $3 Uber to the mall that's 20 minutes away. And back home I pay $600 per month for my car and car insurance and probably another $200 on that. And here, like, all my Uber trips combined probably do not equal $100 or $150 a month. 
it, it just barely happens. The most I have paid for an Uber has been $5 at a time. The luxury of being in Medina, Mexico. Alright, so here I am at the mall. At the Telcel counter and I just paid 200 pesos for a SIM card with 5G of data, unlimited calling and unlimited social media usage. Back home, I paid $45 for an equivalent plan. Alright, now it's time to buy milk. So I come to this Soriana Hyper at the mall because I can buy this big giant bag of nutritional yeast for a few dollars. I think it's a great deal and it's a local product which I totally support. And the other thing I have to buy is my kids medication. Now $15 for a topical cream is a bit expensive but probably about the same price I would have paid in the US. Now the milk and the nutritional yeast much cheaper and when I go to the supermarket or Publix in the US I usually did not leave without spending $100 for some reason. So I consider this another luxury of being in Medina, Mexico. You know, as I walk around this mall, I realize that I have not purchased parting shoes for myself since we got here. You know, I got rid, rid of them in our Cuba trip and I kind of enjoy jogging through the streets so I need to buy me a pair of shoes. In the US I almost bought some but they were $80 and the thought of all the things I could do with $80 just kind of like made this mama's brain kind of like tap out. So here we are. Now here of course I could buy American brands in the mall or in Centro but I could also find some cheaper brands in Centro, so I think I'm gonna do that. And in Centro, they have a store. Um, I guess it kind of sells knockoffs, but it's a Mexican brand. So I got this cute black tennis for 238 pesos. They feel really comfortable, really soft, and works for me. And this is a luxury I'm giving myself because I am in Merida, Mexico. Okay, I think I've had enough running around. But since I know I'm going to be tired when I get home and I'm not going to want to cook, I think I'm going to pick up some Chinese food on the way back. That will feed the girls. Now this large container of rice is like 58 pesos. And the small container for protein is like 48 pesos or 38 pesos. So my total was 94 pesos. So whatever that is. I'm gonna go home now and enjoy my dinner with my kids. Ooh, what a luxury of being a Merida Mexico. If you have any questions about any of the things I mentioned, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And don't forget to like and follow if you want to see more of our adventures and 